Hey guys and gals, this is a very historic place. This is probably America's oldest surviving juke joint. It's called the Blue Front Cafe. It's in Bentonia, Mississippi. Um, this was a this it was a segregation era juke joint, guys. You know, uh, matter of fact, one of the locals told me that back in the day, white customers. Um, they bought corn whiskey from the back door. It was that good. Um, basically, it was a spot for Yazoo County Cotton Fields people to get together. No stage. Um, the blues performers would play at floor level. It was a pretty amazing piece of history. Um, some of the blues greats that have played here uh, are the likes of Skip James, Jack Owens, Henry Sticky, Sonny Boy Williamson number two, Son Johnson, Bobby Batten, Tommy Lee West. Amazing piece of history, man, and it's still up and running. That's, that blows me away. Somewhere in America, is the oldest surviving juke joint. And it's right here in Mississippi. Guys, a little note on the Blue Front Cafe. You know, people may think that rock and roll started with Elvis Presley, uh, rock band started with the Rolling Stones, hard rock starts with Led Zeppelin, but it all started in these um, blues juke joints back in the day. Uh, you know, it all started with that acoustic country blues. That was the foundation for all modern music. Um, so it makes a place like the Blue Front Cafe that much more special because, you know, it's part of the musical history of our country. And the fact that it still exists is amazing. You know, these juke joints they basically were for the cotton field workers back in the day to congregate, to let loose. And, you know, there was a lot of rules back in segregation era regarding how these places like would operate. So, you know, the Blue Front Cafe, you know, it's not a crazy wow video, but it's definitely an important one. 